Genetic modification, GM, has been a cornerstone of agricultural advancement for millennia, with farmers employing artificial selection to cultivate organisms that exhibit desirable traits such as enhanced yield, nutritional content, and resilience. This deliberate breeding process gradually shaped domesticated species over generations. Modern genetic engineering offers a more rapid approach to GM, yielding, among other benefits, environmental advantages. For instance, corn has been genetically modified to resist specific insect pests, resulting in a reduction in reliance on synthetic chemical pesticides. This was achieved by introducing a gene from the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis, known for its insecticidal properties. The gene construct containing the cry gene, promoters, terminators, selectable markers, and or reporters is inserted into a modified agrobacterium tumefaciens TI plasmid. This engineered plasmid is then reintroduced into agrobacterium, which subsequently transfers the DNA into the plant cell genome. Transformed cells are identified through selection or screening and then regenerated into whole plants, which now possess pest resistance. Beyond agriculture, GM organisms are also valuable in various industries. An example is waxy corn, genetically engineered to produce starch almost entirely composed of amylopectin, an industrial ingredient. This can be achieved by inactivating the WX1 gene which is responsible for the synthesis of amylose. The CRISPR-Cas9 system can be used for targeted modification by introducing the CRISPR-Cas9 components required into plant cells via particle bombardment or agrobacterium-mediated transformation. Genetic modification also holds promise for therapeutics. However, commercial production of therapeutic compounds using genetically modified plants and animals, bless you, faces restrictions due to biosafety, environmental, and regulatory concerns. To address these concerns and prevent the dissemination of genetically modified organisms and their foreign genetic material, therapeutics can be produced through the use of cell cultures. An example is Alalyso, a plant cell-based enzyme replacement therapy. This drug treats Gaucher's disease, a condition caused by a deficiency of the enzyme beta-glucocerebrosidase. To produce the enzyme, the human gene encoding this enzyme is inserted into carrot cells, which are then cultured in bioreactors. The enzyme is subsequently extracted, purified, and formulated for commercial use. While the benefits of genetic modification are being harnessed, the associated risks are assessed and mitigated to ensure responsible innovation.